Hey guys, buckle up for another episode of Below the Iceberg, the one and only podcast where we talk to real life two comma club winners. Whether you're a small business owner, an entrepreneur, a wannabe entrepreneur, or you've been in business for a while, you're sure to pick up some golden nuggets of actionable advice from these million dollar entrepreneurs. Now, if you're new around here and you don't know what a two comma club winner is, it's where they've built one funnel inside the ClickFunnels software and they've sold one million dollars through that one funnel which is amazing now in today's episode i'm excited to be talking to anshul who took a hundred dollar job on upwork and then turned that client into a two comma club award winner with his funnel design and now he's working on his own two comma club with his own software so let's dive in and find out how it all started for anshul welcome anshul to below the iceberg well, thank you. Thank you, Polly, for having me here. It's awesome. I want to say a massive congratulations on getting a two comma club award. Well, thank you. Um, it was it was great meeting you at the FHL and yeah, yeah I mean, we had fun. <laughs> it is amazing. Yeah, Fun Hacking Live was awesome, wasn't it? Yep. So what I like to do with my guests is I go and like to have a look up on their social media profiles and uh -huh. have a quick investigate on how many followers they have really, because it's interesting for people to know what is achievable for people who have big followings, but also people who can do this with very small followings. Mm -hmm. So I looked you up um, and I couldn't find the right lot actually. <laughs> Oh, okay. So, yeah, I mean, do you want to tell? Many followers. You don't have many followers. So, yeah. Um, I looked up. You've got um, you got your Facebook group. Uh huh. With about four hundred and thirty people in your Facebook group. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That, yeah, I couldn't find much else apart from your personal Facebook profile. Is mm -hmm. that where you usually hang out on Facebook? Yeah, I, I actually do. But, uh, you know, the most of my clients and uh, business is coming through referrals. Uh, it is more of a behind the scene thing where, you know, um, uh, an existing client of mine referred me to the new clients, uh, new right. potential client. And that's how, you know, uh, I have been getting the momentum so right. far. Okay. But, um, I I I have created a group a few years back, but, you know, recently started using it and, you know, posting it there. But, um, you know, I'm kind of dabbling with content marketing, but uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I'm trying my best. So I also noticed you've got a lot of blogs on your funnel crew. Yeah. Did, right. do, do you get people finding you because of your blogs? Um, I've had a few people find me, um, you know, because of the blog and then subscribe to my newsletter as well. Um, but, um, you know, it's, uh, it's just, you know, tip of the iceberg as of yeah. now, like, you know, we need to put in a lot of efforts before we can see any, uh, substantial result, uh, results on those. Yeah. yeah. And we are ready for that. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So do you want to tell our listeners exactly what it is that you do? So, yeah, for sure. So essentially I have, you know, two uh, particular things that I do. Uh, one is, you know, building funnels for um, my clients, for businesses who are looking to venture into, um, you know, the world of funnels, but do not know how and where to get started. And essentially they also do not want to learn on their own. Yeah. They just want an expert to, you know, take care of it and uh, make it happen. So I have been building funnels for like, six to seven years now and All right, okay. pretty much have seen um um you know every kind of funnel on the on the planet but uh more importantly um uh, you know i have been uh blessed to help people like uh, tony robbins russell brunson um julius dean um dan henry dana derricks um chad thibodeo and a, a lot of two comma club winners uh, with their funnels so, you know, um, I'm truly blessed to have, you know, all these opportunities. So this is my first, um, you know, part of the business. The yeah. second part of the business is, you know, I have a collection of add-ons for ClickFunnels, which is called CEF Design Tools. And uh, my mission behind uh, creating those add-ons is to help people design better funnels uh, and give them, you know, capability to, uh, you know, design the funnels without hiring 
expensive funnel designer or you know using photoshop or messing with the custom code and all all those stuff yeah so that's that's my uh, mission behind uh, all right okay creating. so what type of funnel so the funnel that got the two comma club but that was uh -huh. one of your clients funnels was that yeah. yes yeah and that what type correct. of funnel was it so it was a application funnel. Uh, essentially, you know, um, it was a long form sales um, page, and then it it took you know people to book an appointment with the client, and right. then you know on the on the call, you know, uh, the client's team would close them and you know send them to an order form, and you know that's how. Um, All right. Okay. So it's a long form sales letter, and then that right. went to book a call. Was the calendar embedded on the page? They booked the call on yes. the page. Yes, yeah. so and then the they call, went to a thank you page. page. Right, that's yeah. true. And then when they are on call, um, you know, they, uh, um, you know, the team who is you know closing them uh, sends them a link to the order form, and they can just make the purchase and go from there. All right. Okay. So they sent them back to the funnel to to make the payment on the page. Right. Right. All right. Okay. And did that? So you designed all of the funnel and set it all up. Did uh -huh. they? Did they give you all the copy or did you do the copy as well? Or did you just build the funnel? So, you know, for this particular funnel, I did not do the copy. Um, but, you know, I typically also do copy for, for my clients. Um, you know, some of those have also won, uh, you know, two comma club. But um, for this particular funnel, no, I did not do the copy. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's do a little bit of a rewind now. And we're going to go oh, sure. back to your childhood oh one question i forgot actually sure when you found out that you got the two comma club with that funnel did you have uh -huh. a little bit of a celebration bit of a party oh yeah i mean i i couldn't believe you know i i woke up and you know i had a, a, t a text message from my client uh you know uh, saying hey uh call me asap and i was like uh is something wrong like what's going on like um, <laughs> uh, it sounded like urgent and i i didn't even brush my uh, teeth and you know I'll just uh, I just uh, you know gr grab my phone and call him on on the video and he said you're you're getting a two comma club you know award this year and I was like what are you talking about like I couldn't grasp you know the reality of it and uh, it was crazy it was amazing like you know um, I, I almost had uh, you know a tear rolling down my eye um, you know because I have been waiting for this moment for so long and it was amazing so was it a goal, you know, with the funnel, with the client, was uh -huh. it the, was it a goal to get the two comma club or did it just, did it just happen? Oh, uh, he, uh, I mean, I would say, you know, it was a goal. It was very intentional. Like, yeah. But uh, I'm honored that he, you know, he, you know, gave me the credit as well, you know, for um, yeah. you know, making this happen. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so let's do a little bit of a rewind now. Let's go back to your childhood. So okay. where did you grow up? What was what was it like when you were a child? So I essentially grew up, you know, in the same city that I'm living in right now. It's called Udaipur, um, you know, in Rajasthan, a state of Rajasthan in India. Okay. And it's it's in the western part of the country. We we have like a desert area, like the, it's a desert state, just like you know, Arizona. But, um, you know, my city in particular has a lot of lakes, a lot of greenery. And, you know, that that's the city I have been, you know, throughout my life, um, except for a few years when I was doing my uh, bachelor's and then, you know, did a couple of years in the job. Um, but, yeah, I mean, um, childhood was pretty average. I mean, I, I have been a pretty average, you know, in my studies and just you know getting that bare minimum and moving forward kind of thing um did you have and, a dream you know, what did you have a dream when you were a child what did you want to be when you grew up well i wanted to be uh an astronaut you know <laughs> <laughs> when, I, when i grew up and it was like um you know uh my childhood fantasy you know kind of thing but um you know life had its own plans and here we are <laughs> <laughs> so instead of went... launching you know sh space shuttles we're launching funnels <laughs> <laughs> did you so you said you went and got a bachelor's where did you where did you go for that 
So it was a nearby university, you know, it's in my, um, you know, my city itself, just right. on the outskirts of it. Um, I actually did my, um, you know, bachelor's in electronics and communications. It was, you know, p- uh, pretty different, um, you know, uh, pretty different uh, niche, you know, yeah. compared to what we are doing right now. So how so, did you, so you did that, when you finished that, did you, what uh-huh. did you do? Did you go get a job? Yeah, I, I I worked as a, um, you know, you you might find this amusing, but I worked as a technical recruiter, you know, for a staffing agency um, for an year and a half, I think an year, uh, basically. So that's where I got to learn how to, so that was a staffing agency who used to work for US clients. All right. So that's where, you know, I uh, learned to talk to the, you know, the people outside of the country like in the US and how they talk and how wh- what's their expectations of the job and you know about the whole culture of the US all right then, okay. you know so how I, come you didn't get a job associated with what you did at college that's a that's a good question because um, you know electronics uh, in India particularly uh, there's not much you know uh, uh, electronics industries um, everything is basically getting imported from outside, mainly from China, uh, where they have the huge production plants. And um, you know, uh, we, I was quite disappointed when you know when I found out this, and it was a couple of years into the bachelor's degree, where when I found out that you know it doesn't have a lot of opportunities uh, down here in India. So then I just, you know, right out, of, right out of the college, you know, I took the first job I could find so that, you know, at least I have something, something is better than nothing. So, you know, I started with that. Um, then I started talk, talking to people because, you know, basically um, a recruiter is calling people all day. Hey, are you looking for a job? Are you looking for a job? And, you know, is that what you, you, is that what you were doing just on the phones? Yeah. 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 Uh, it was a glorified call center, you know. Um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, so so you did pretty... that. She did that for about a year and a half. What happened next? Right. So uh, then, uh, you know, I realized that, you know, um, what I was, uh, so what I was doing, uh, you know, um, you know, as a technical recruiter in the company, someone who was, you know, uh, who has spent like five years in the company was doing the same thing. And I couldn't um, see any growth. Um, right. You know, there was growth in terms of money, but not in terms of like uh, experience or right. you know knowledge and you know learning basically. Okay. So I decided to you know quit that job and uh, uh, I was naive and I'm thank God I was uh, so that you know I started uh, decided to start my own business and you know he, uh, okay. I started as a freelancer. Yeah. All right. So what happened? What even gave you the idea that, that you thought oh, I'm going to be a freelancer? So two things. Um, first, you know, I, I wasn't seeing growth, uh, you know, in the in the job that I had. Yeah. And the second thing was, you know, um, I was clueless, like, you know, uh, what what needs to be done? Like, um, why? If I were I. I wanted to go into the software development industry. No one would hire me because I don't have, you know, those credentials. Um, you know, I, I I wasn't major in computer science or bachelor's in computer science and, you know, industry experience. So I just decided to took matters into my hand and, you know, I started applying on the jobs. I uh, started learning the website designing. All I right. closed like WordPress, HTML and CSS. Um, I'm... Um, YouTube was my greatest teacher and, and still today it is. And, you know, um, <laughs> I started learning there and then I started uh, simultaneously uh, started applying to the jobs, um, you know, on, on Upwork. Uh, right. Back then it was called Odesk and, you know, um, and yeah, I mean, that's how it all, it all started. Like, you know. All right. Uh, okay. So you started getting some work on Upwork. Right. Was that building websites then? Yeah, it was building websites and uh, you'll, you'll be, uh, I don't know if you'll be amused, but you know, here's an interesting fact, like, you know, for the client that I built the two comma club, uh, you know, um, funnel, that, yeah. the one that got award, yeah. he was the same client, you know, uh, he, the first project that I got on Upwork, 
um it was a hundred dollar project uh you know oh, was I, it yeah what he found you on upwork for a hundred dollars right. and yeah. then you ended up building his funnel right i hope you charge more than a hundred dollars <laughs> <laughs> Whatever I charged, it was way too less. You know? <laughs> so, so how did that happen then? So you were doing jobs on Upwork. Right. Were you, were you looking for people who were looking for somebody who wanted a website building? Right, exactly. So um, that's, that's how, you know, I used to apply. And then, you know, uh, after a few applications, after a few, uh, you know, jobs done, people would organically refer me from you know, for, to their friends and to other colleagues and to other businesses. And since then, I don't think I have used up for, for, for a while now. All right, um, okay. Yeah, so and did... this was like, uh, you know, the first job that I got was like about nine years back. Like, yeah. Uh, it was 2013. I still remember. And um, since then, I have been a pretty much great friend with uh, Chad Thib Thibodeo. You know him, right? Uh, he's in ClickFunnels community. I'm not. I'm not. Not too familiar now. So what? Okay. What, what does he do? So he's a coach. He's a business coach. He's the one who I got the award with. You know, the shared award. Right. Okay. And. Um, he was also my one of my first clients, um, you know, on Upwork. So did you keep in touch or yeah, that whole time? We Were did. you doing other jobs for him? I did. Um, I, I was doing a lot of, uh, you know, projects for him. Uh, you know, a few years back, he invited me down there at his home in Phoenix. You know, I stayed there for uh, three weeks and, you know, it, it was awesome. Yeah. I mean, he's not even a client anymore. Like he's more of fam friends and family. Right. Okay. Kind of thing. So how did yeah. you discover click funnels then? So you're building websites. What were you building the websites on? Like WordPress? So uh, yeah, WordPress and also, you know, static websites on pure HTML and CSS and JavaScript and doing all the coding and, you know, by the hand. And then, you know, if, the client had a good budget. They wanted to do WordPress. You know, I used to do that as well. And then, um, you know, so one day, you know, um, this again, you know, Chad uh, told me, do you, you know, the websites are dead. And I was like, I just laughed him off. Like, yeah. you know, they are not dead. Like, you know, half of the world is using them. And, um, uh, and then he told me that, you know, funnels are the talk of the town. And you need to switch over to funnels. And initially, I didn't, uh, you know, believe him because I was a web developer. And someone yeah. saying that, you know, dude, what you are doing is uh, dead. Um, is I mean, it it wasn't so um, reassuring, so as to say. So uh, one day, you know, he he he, uh, the work was pretty um, dried up, and uh, I was pretty much available, and I. Uh, I was curious to look into the, that funnel stuff. So right. I messaged him, hey, uh, you know, uh, let me know if you have some projects that you want me to work on. And um, so the first funnel we did also got the Two Comma Club Award. Uh, that was his first Two Comma Club Award. All um, right. Yeah. But um, I didn't even know what was Two Comma Club Award back then. All um, right. Okay. So when um, was that? When did you build the first funnel? Uh, I think it was like six to seven years back. So I would say uh, somewhere between uh, 2015 or 2016. All right. Okay. So he introduced you to funnels. Did he introduce right. you to click funnels? Or did yeah, you... he did. Actually, he was one of the top 30 designers for click funnels. Uh, um, so they used to have a program back then where they, um, you know, had a contest uh, for designing the funnels and uh, top 30 people were chosen and then they were given a certificate and they can call themselves like top 30 uh, click funnels designers all and right that's how yeah and uh, they haven't had that competition since then so you know whoever won it it seems like they have won for eternity so <laughs> 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 so you started learning did you start learning all about funnels then right then then i started uh reading the books um you know 
short form secrets export secrets yeah or traffic secrets which was a, a a while ago but uh yeah then uh, then i was intrigued into how you know how to write the first suicide copy and uh, to be honest you know my entry point into the funnels was you know doing custom codes um for people uh, who are looking for uh, you know a functionality which is not available right out of the box in click funnels right and then i used to make things happen um often times when click funnel support says you know uh, this is not possible inside of click funnels and i made that happen so the client was over the top and they were highly recommending me to each other um, you know in ah, right um, okay so you were like, the the go to yeah. guy for custom coding on click funnel yeah so how right so when did you start so you were getting regular clients and they were all referrals when did you start cf pro to uh, cf design tools design tools yeah yeah, I mean, that's okay. A, a lot of people get confused <laughs> between CF Pro Tools and Design Tools. But uh, so what what happened was I uh, started to uh, notice a pattern, you know, almost every client um, needed, you know, a similar kind of code. And then I, you know, realized why not uh, mix the code and the design into a package, like where people can, you know, uh, don't have to code to get awesome features that are available in WordPress or by custom coding and put it into the package. So I actually started on um, on CF Design Tools, I think in 2019, um, you know, it took me about uh, an year to, you know, build everything up. And then I literally sat on it for an year. You sat on it for a year? Because I was afraid that no one is going to, yeah, no, no one is going to use it. Like, you know, I was so afraid to launch it. Like it, it was my baby. And I was like, what if I, you know, uh, no one uses it. it. It would be an utter failure. And, and you know, uh, I was really afraid. Then a friend of mine uh, who also works for ClickFunnels, um, I, uh, her name is Ivy. Um, and she, um, you know, pushed me into launching it. Uh, I, uh, she was the one who, you know. So uh, are, you, literally... are, you, are you glad you launched it now? Oh yeah, for sure. Like over 350 people are using it right now. And um, I mean, I, I, I would be happy if, you know, even if a single person was using it. So, you know, <laughs> so is it a subscription that people sign up for? So essentially it's both, uh, you know, it's, it's a lifetime deal uh, um, as well, like the one time payment. And then there's a subscription, whichever route, you know, people prefer, you know, we have both the options. All right. There. Okay. So I'm guessing you've built an awesome funnel then for, uh, for promoting your CF design tools. Yeah, I did. I, it's just CF design tools.com. Yeah, so, you know, the so people can uh, go check it out. So did, have you got upsells on that funnel or is it just no, options? Ju just, you know, I just, uh, just the core product you know, no upsells as of now. Um, I was waiting on to uh, uh, the release of 2.0 and, you know, uh, maybe, you know, we'll be developing the templates down the line uh, as an yeah. upsell, but. So at the no moment, upsell. everything you've built at the so, moment it only uh, works with ClickFunnels 1. Sorry? So everything that you've built at the moment for, for CF Design Tools is for ClickFunnels 1. Yeah, that is that is true, and we are uh, working on making all the add-ons work on 2.0. We know uh, on our primary tests that they work. It's just uh, you know we need to tweak them a little bit because uh, 2.0 is a completely different software. So uh, you know uh, with a with with a little bit of tweaking, you know they'll they'll be working, and everyone would be rolled over to 2.0. Oh, right. Okay. And how, how, do, how are you promoting your CF design tools now to people? How do they find out about um, it? As of now, you know, just organically, uh, I didn't have much time, you know, into promoting it, um, like going on Facebook lives or, you know, creating ads around it, but, um, just the word of mouth and the ref, uh, you know, having people refer, and also, you know, in the ClickFunnels group, when someone asks a question, which can be um, solved by one of the add-ons that we have, you know, I just recommend, hey, you know, CF Design Tools has an add-on that you can use. Sometimes it's free, sometimes it's uh, it's paid, but uh, so we have both free and paid add-ons um, for uh, people, uh, 
you know. All right, okay. So yeah. do you spend a lot of what do you spend a lot of time in the ClickFunnels Facebook group? Um yeah, I mean at least um thirty to forty five minutes every day, like you know, answering people people's questions, just uh you know, seeing what are the challenges that people are facing and you know, uh All right, uh, okay. Yeah. Cool. So do you think there's, what do you think's been the biggest hurdle with the CF design tools, building that out? What's been your biggest? Uh, while building it or while, uh, in promoting well, everything, it? Well, like, everything, to get you up to this point, like today. Right. The design, the build, and then actually launching it out to people. What was the, what was the biggest thing you had to overcome for that? What was the biggest hurdle? Well, uh, the biggest hurdle uh, would be, uh, you know, there's a myth going around in the community where people say, you know, ugly funnel funnels convert better. And, you know, I haven't found that to be the case. Like, uh, <laughs> literally, if you go to clickfunnels.com right now, it would say, you know, build, be uh, create beautiful funnels. Like the word beautiful is right there, you know, in first three to four words you know that they promote and you know for some some reason uh, you know i understand that design is the most not is not the most important thing uh, you know when it comes to the funnel it's offered then your copy and then you know it comes to the design but yeah um you know um, no, I, must say, a... I have seen some ugly funnels that have won the two comma club and i do think to myself that's pretty ugly how did they manage that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, but then again, they did not test it when uh, by designing it in in the better shape or form. Like, yes, you know, they, if it was a better so, designed funnel, they might have got even more conversions and made more money. Exactly. So, uh, in in my opinion and in my experience, ugly funnels only convert better in two situations. Like uh, the first is you know um, the the offer that you have doesn't have the competition in the market. Let's say if we are selling um, um, a Ferrari uh, and there are no um, supercars available, you know, everyone will go to the Ferrari. Like, doesn't matter, you know, if it has a beautiful uh, funnel or a website, you know, everyone wants it. Yeah. You know, that's that's the one of the scenario. And the second scenario is, um, you know, an influencer launches something, you know, people blindly follow them. Um, you know, they just... Uh, you know, as soon as someone launches something, you know, they, they just want it, um, you know, uh, they have that authority. Yeah. So in those two cases, uh, you know, ugly, ugly funnels uh, might convert, uh, you know, uh, as good as, you know, well-designed funnels. But uh, for most of the businesses and people, that is not the case. They, are, uh, they have competitions and then they have, um, they do not have that, author that kind of authority, uh, you know, on the market, like, uh, you know, so uh, they 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 need you know uh, so uh, as Russell talks about a hook and you know yeah. uh, developing trust with the with the end user. So a good design funnel is also one of the hook. You know, it's uh, people don't realize it, but you know, it's also someone uh, something that captivates people on onto the sales page. Yeah, and then you know also de develop the trust. Like uh, you know, it doesn't look like a scam website. Yeah, that's right. So how so you learn all about um coding and all of that how did you learn about design so uh, when i came into the world of um you know funnels and i was doing custom codes for people it almost always had you know a little bit to do with the design as well like even if you implement a feature um, people always want to make sure that they, it doesn't look ugly as hell like you know yeah. you they want to make it look sophisticated so i started uh, you know uh, learning about the design principles and then i started liking it like you know there are very few people who can do design and code mm. in the community uh, yeah. and uh, so i i started uh, you know learning that and that particular combination you know propelled my uh, you know uh, business forward and then you know then i understood that it's not just about the uh, the custom coding and the the design uh, i also need to learn about the copy if i have to offer a complete package um, yeah. so it was it wasn't you know um, 
you know, I didn't know everything from the first day. It just, you know, came naturally and you organically. Just, you um, built on it as you've gone along. Yeah, that's So fine. what's your main focus now? Is it building funnels for people or is it the CF design tools? I mean, you know, ideally, um, you know, I can make more impact, um, you know, or if a lot of people start using CF design tools and, um, but to be honest, you know, it's more of a equally All right, okay. distributed focus, like, you know, helping clients and then, um, you know, promoting CF design tools as well, because I know, you know, it can be, um, really helpful for people who are building funnels. I, I, and I think you, you guys are also using it, um, you know, in your funnels, um, uh, I know you don't build your own funnels, but y your sister does. Uh, um... No, I no, I don't have a sister. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but so, uh, five me. step funnels uh, is you, right? Yeah, five step funnels. Yeah. Right. Uh, you guys, you guys have an account with us, so you you might not have checked it. Um, oh no, you know, that's a, my my assistant. Days, yeah. I have my assistant oh, okay. uses. Yeah. We've got two accounts, yeah, under our name. That's right. That's why. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. So, do you have a team with you, or is it just yes. you? Or uh, we do have a team. We have a team of five people, and then you know a, a few freelancers that we hire on project basis. What does a typical day look like for you? So, uh, it um, I mean. It, it is either one of the two days. So uh, one scenario is where, you know, uh, when I wake up, uh, I have a, a tons of messages from my client. Um, they, are, they are in the panic mode where, you know, something needs to be fixed. Their funnel is not working for some reason or the email or the automations are not working and, you know, they need help ASAP. Um, it might be, you know, something they did, you know, when I was asleep or, you know, something happened, you know, in the right. tech ecosystem. Uh, and then we have to firefight, you know, as soon as I wake up and then uh, be glad that that's over and then continue with the rest of the day. And then the second scenario is a pretty casual one uh, where, you know, we have uh, the requirements from the clients and uh, we are either, um, you know, building the strategy for the funnels or uh, laying out the wireframes and then designing it, you know, the funnels for them. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay, so last question. If you were going to yeah. be an animal for 24 hours, what, uh -huh. would you, what would you be and why? Uh, well, I would be a wolf. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's uh, that's funny that you asked this because, um, you know, when I was uh, uh, at my first, very first mastermind with um, Chad, uh, you know, we had 40, 40 people there and uh, they all, I think, it came up, um, you know, it was the same question someone asked and oh, I said, it? I think I, I would be a wolf. Um, and people asked why, because uh, I said, you know, um, I can, you know, just go in uh, all by myself and, you know, um, return with the pack of her, like kind of thing, uh, <laughs> you know. Awesome. Um, so if anybody wants to find out more about you and CF Design Tools, where do they need to go? So they can go to uh, either my Facebook profile, um, Anshul Maheshwari, or, you know, if they just want to check out the two tools, they can go to cfdesigntools.com and that's pretty much it. Okay, awesome. cfdesigntools.com. Okay, thank you so much for taking time out for your day today. Talking to yep. me, it's been awesome. Yeah, likewise. I really enjoyed talking to you. Thank you for listening. I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please take a moment to leave us a five-star review and subscribe to the podcast on your podcast software. It really helps us rank the podcast and get more listeners. And if you're over on YouTube, please subscribe and hit the bell. Every Friday, 8am GMT, we release a brand new episode. And until then, have a good one.